Hey guys, uh, next up is Templar Assassin. Uh, I like playing her mid exclusively. Uh, it's kind of like a mixed build. Some utility, some uh, extra range. Uh, she has a, she has attack. She has a huge attack range problem. Uh, that's why you kind of get it back from the uh, side blades, side blades, how you, how you pronounce it, and uh, dragon lance attack range. Uh, so yeah, let's start with the build. Uh, Starting with power threads, right? You want you want attack speed always, anyways. Uh, goes with uh, refraction. You want to dish dish those as fast as you can on somebody, and uh, yeah, this kind of gets you slowly towards there. Uh, and like I said, next one that you re will really need is dragon lance. I don't think there's any scenario where you can skip this uh, because even with dragon lance and the max passive. Uh, your attack range is still what four five thirty uh so yeah it's not that great uh you i think you absolutely need to get this uh pike effect is also nice for her for escape and uh aggressively use right uh you'll see why with the next items uh so if you have if you have your uh power threads you have your dragon last th there's a couple of ways you can go uh if there's time Desolator as well. Desolator for this hero uh, because of meld, pretty much is why I make it. It's a double effect. Uh, meld reduces armor by a lot, and uh, meld yeah, uh, and the de desolator reduces it as well. Uh, desolator is also nice, like the the recent effect they added. Uh, the damage goes up by two every time you kill. So this can be this can end up being 70 damage so kind of like a nice synergy with mel the armor reduction and that's what the armor reduction right uh makes it for you to kill pop the whole thing with the refraction it kind of kind of synergizes right so two easily uh you can easily see why we, you would need these two makes really all the sense uh now blink blink is something you can kind of decide whether you need it or not but she works great with blink uh she doesn't have like any really catch up mechanic other than hitting with sonic trap even when this slow hits uh you still need to kind of get in the rage uh, so you can lose a lot of time you know you can lose a lot of time getting to the fight or trying to catch that one target and uh you don't have really any stunts or like any any of that sort of bash so even if you slow them down and you start running towards them, they still have all the time in the world to hex you, stun you, slow you down. Uh, if there's nobody else from your team to kind of control them. So blink might just be really necessary, uh, you know, for you to just jump in, press the blinking, press the refract refraction, uh, do the attacks fast with the meld. Uh, also, I like uh, Bloodthorn because of the silence, right? But that works the best when you can blink in. And just immediately unleash the whole uh, arsenal, right? So I always play her with blink. You can also upgrade blink to the swift blink, the green one. Uh, when you're blinking, gives you a lot of attack speed, right? Uh, so so yeah, I always think about blink. If you if you if you if you feel like you can't catch them or you kind of lose a lot of times, a lot of time when you cast this, you can't get into the fight. Your team dies, uh, especially if you want to play her as a carry. I mean as a as a safe lane right uh it can get you it can get you a lot of trouble you're gonna farm reports you get yeah it's gonna get nasty think about blink and uh i would say for this hero actually it's the blacking that's more optional than, than the blink for me uh i can get away because of refraction and because of melt kind of feel i can get away but um yeah, you still need, it's still a, it's still a pure, it's just still a pure right click hero. There's no other way to describe it. And uh, uh, you, when you press refraction, you need to be able to attack. And, uh, you know, with the whole sea blades and the spill. So, usually you would need to get Black King. Uh, I, 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 like, I like making Bloodthorn, so Bloodthorn can maybe pull you out, right? Because now you can silence. Um, but uh, it, it, it can just get it can just get really nasty. Even though if there's one guy with hex or stun, uh, if you're not careful enough or you're just kind of learning to play, and he jumps on you, he hex. It, it only takes one hex for you from any source to just die. One hex and they kind of jump on you, you die. There's no way to do anything. 
so yeah black king always think about black king you, you'll have enough damage by now anyways agility from dragonless the uh, damage from desolator combined with the melt combined with the refraction they're kind of already giving you free damage so you can focus on uh, utility and not be like okay i waste all of my money on utility i don't have damage i don't have attack speed what am i gonna do now my hero is a right clicker uh yeah they know they obviously know you will need to make something like this and something like this it doesn't give you any benefit in a, in terms of like pure damage and attack speed or crit right uh th there's some damage here but yeah so they kind of know what's up uh they give you free extra damage free armor reduction right so you, you, they're you're already kind of pushed uh there like secure in that way so you can just make this no worries get your blink uh this will carry you more than enough and uh after that you can kind of decide uh on the last one here at least in my case uh, this can be pike but it's whatever you have to rush pike so the one that i like really making is bloodthorn uh just looks great i would just blink on any enemy support i can immediately silence them now unless they have something nasty like uh ghost scepter or yule, yule scepter or i don't know the creepify uh spell you can kind of immediately kill them because what is support gonna do they don't have those specifically right and even even if they don't have those specific items you gotta be like okay and they're running away uh now now they're gonna just kind of press the stuff and disable me you can just press black king and uh, kill them anyways so they can't really get away from you uh any uh, in any way if they have a uh, it's called four staff you can st still slow them down with trap catch up and uh with blink so you can you can kind of see what i'm talking about is why why you need blink and uh black king usually in any case you just gotta kind of be able to chase and then when you do catch up uh stay there and fight and the only way is with black king you don't get like one hex and die right so this is my personal item that I like making also gives me true strike so in a way it's like a monkey effect uh great if there's phantom assassin great if there's any butterfly effect uh true strike plus crit on the target for everybody in your team so five of you attacking are going to be doing crits to that target also gives you attack speed you need attack speed gives you damage you need damage even gives you mage slayer uh magic resistance plus the, the passive right so kind of have it all in one item uh sets you up for any future butterfly effects uh any evasion stuff right great for killing support gives you everything you need attack speed damage spell spell protection so i really really like making bloodthorn so my build would look something like this and then i would bump this into pike and uh yeah and actually no i wouldn't bump this into pike i would probably upgrade my blink rather than pike i don't think i would need pike but yeah probably just upgrade blink and uh that would be kind of it <laughs> probably upgrade this last uh so yeah how, uh, my build how would uh how my build would look like some options uh if you don't want to get bloodthorn you can just get monkey if you want monkey. monkey is always monkey for these heroes tech speed damage chance to proc deals with any evasion deals with phantom assassin for sure even if she presses black king so problem with this let's say let's just take like a phantom assassin for example if she presses black king this is useless in in a sense of you trying to hit her you cannot hit her then properly uh with monkey you can't monkey just doesn't care goes through anything so i would kind of leave that item uh really to see uh do i need every hit to count like that or i can just kind of get away with the whole effect because i want to kill the the supports as well or mid whoever it is maybe even even if the mid is also like a caster hero it's also great so there's a monkey you can just make monkey if you want if you don't want to press so many things you don't want to press this press that press blink press all of this if it's too much pressing for you uh ult is also double press you have to plant it and activate it uh some people will just make it different because they don't want to press so many items uh so yeah uh one of this also grace is crit you can just get crit damage and crits no problem uh i i just think nothing can compare to this really we can make some uh changes 
to this but i just don't think nothing compares even butterfly butterfly can be great nice really nice stats damage agility that translates his attack speed but i'm kind of like this this just has it all right and it just deals with everything so nicely any butterfly effect any spell casters uh if they hit you with spells when you not have this the whole mage slayer effect protects you kind of the item just has it all in it in itself and it's like a great the whole team where you just blink you press the refraction you blink you silence the target you, you kind of like three four hits the target is dead they're kind of already dead because of the, just, they just take, can't take the crits from this right so this kind of yeah this guy also has daedalus, daedalus in it right when you cast it so it kind of has all of these three except the evasion in itself plus the hood there's also a hood effect uh so yeah bar you can get butterfly if you want daedalus uh monkey if it's needed and uh that, that would be pretty much it uh I'll just leave it how i would make it i think i think it was very clear for the reasons why all of these this is just with attack with the attack range with attack range armor reduction with the meld plus the damage silence uh, blacking so you can do your right click stuff and then blink just to be able to nicely enter the fight chase and escape uh, just, just imagine if enemy team is kind of slacking or they don't have any dust or wards you can just meld and wait like three seconds you just blink away that also works uh, so just another great soul to buy your time uh, put you into aggressive position deal with anything really right especially with the silence again silence if it's support trying to uh, wait, wait until you get out of melt you can just uh, silence them and just, just run away right but supports are very slow attacking they might not even be awake enough to attack you or just slow enough uh so yeah that will be it uh shard is whatever not not that not, not that amazing it silences uh silences enemies that, that get hit i guess 1400 to get like a nice silence effect yeah if you want to still if you want to get benefit from this you got to be able to blink immediately uh silence is not that long right 1.5 it's usually it's going to be probably 1.5 to 2 seconds because you got to activate it immediately you don't really have time to wait the whole trap to uh to the max value so yeah kind of think about that one but that's usually what's skipped no matter what i think it's a waste of money uh talent trees uh attack speed of course right uh free evasion why not uh but you can also take this free evasion is going to be useless for you if uh uh if their pick is just some um, complete spell damage nuke type of pick right uh in that case the only hero hitting you let's say their off laner is kind of passive something like tides in that sense not really a right click uh, off center like slaughter for example if there's no slaughter as well as there is let's say it's tides the only one really hitting you is going to be their carry that's the only person's going to be hitting you and if you're gonna if you make it that nasty for them, that that is going to keep it's 20 percent they keep missing you they're going to get monkey anyways so you're kind of you're kind of done there anyway so uh think about evasion uh, and how much value you can get uh you don't care about support trying to hit you that much if the offlaner is more defensive more towards like defensive uh, yeah, even like centaur right uh this just might not be worth it you might just get some extra range uh, this this can be especially great if they kind of line up let's say fight is like this one hero is there one is here or there uh the spill is gonna hit uh at least two of them if not three of them so yeah kind of think about that one uh third one i will go of course meld it's another synergy so extra three extra armor on this reduction and then desolator has also so a nice uh nice synergy there meld dispels it's only basic dispel uh i don't see how this would be that crazy to get i'm not sure if uh, uh maybe maybe if you get tracked by gondar if that even works as a basic dispel or is that, is that strong dispel required it doesn't even matter i would just take the armor reduction you don't really care 
and uh, last one I would take seven refraction instances. Uh, that's your main tool to kill. Templar is the best and the strongest and uh, the scariest when uh, refraction is up. Now it's it says instances, so there's two instances. There's damage and there's protection, right? So you're not only boosting your damage, uh, 85 85 damage per hit you're also boosting your uh, protection so they have to hit you a lot more uh for this to dispel i mean to end right and uh as is the funny thing like in dota one uh these work together so if you get hit and you deal damage with it you're spending charges uh here it's separate so it's much much more nastier uh, you can attack and spend all the attacks but the refraction will still be up to block the any incoming damage so you're not really spending it so i think this is an amazing upgrade uh one second mal hit bash that's really weird that they added that it looks really unnatural but yeah you can get that as well but you know it's it's like it's like seven seven times 85 why not just do that extra damage in in quick uh, succession right just just take the refresh in instances uh yeah so that would be it. Uh, I would say s some slight changes can be made. Not sure if and it, what is it, what is this? They're also uh, suggesting nullifier. Nullifier, sure. Uh, if there's if there's so many if there's so many Aeon discs and uh, what else is there? Decrypify from the the Pugna or. I don't even know what uh, what what else is there. Keep forgetting. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Ghost scepter. So Ghost scepter, Aeon discs, uh, decrypify. I guess if it's if it's that problematic that everybody has it or they're double support and some somebody else, I guess notify them. But usually, uh, you would just you would just be running around like that, right? No problem. Uh, don't forget the boots uh so yeah my build uh, i think this is pretty great great synergy uh this allows you to attack this allows you to catch get out of fights silence quickly remove special support and uh yeah that that will be templar just gonna take some practice this is the weird spell of the bunch uh always weirded me out because melt kind of it's 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 crazy like for a right click hero to have an option uh that you're like attacking and then you stop attacking you di you disappear and then you attack uh from uh from like the shadows it's kind of really weird uh, uh disrupting your attack flow uh, i gotta be honest i never i never really liked this uh, I, I always kind of thought this kind of breaks the whole flow of me right clicking uh it, it can be nice but usually uh when i press refresh i'm just gonna wanna attack 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 uh me kind of losing that time to disappear and then reappear uh, the, the the bonus damage is great the armor damage is great but it kind of feels like i don't want to do that i just want to keep attacking i don't want to disappear reappear do the whole uh circus right i just want to be able to right click with the right click hero but yeah uh it's gonna take some practice with meld uh so you can disappear and they don't let him get away too far or you're just gonna get out and not do anything <coughs> they're gonna be close and uh, yeah, that would be it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.